Well, I'm kind of busy this morning, folks. We're, I got my trailer home full of cottonwood bark, and I found several big pieces that I can just barely get a hold of. Here, here. We're going to have to do a little, little trimming on this to get it upright. But uh, I'm going to show you here just how much cottonwood bark I got yesterday down in Mississippi. Let's take a look here. Turn the camera around real easy for a, a minute here. Had a trailer trailer load earlier. I got some of the big pieces. That's mostly cottonwood and bark right there. And uh, let's see. Let's set this down while I get it unloaded and uh, see what we come up with. You can see here, some of that bark is uh, two to three inches thick, fairly wide. That's gonna be a nice piece here, but I've got several arm loads of that and I'll show you what I'm doing with it. I'll put it on this table. And uh, seems like it don't hurt the stuff to get wet, so I, Put the big pieces in the back and try to put some pieces I can get to. Go back over here and get another arm load. There's another arm load. Give you a good, good peek at that piece. There, I think that'll make a wonderful carving. And it's amazing to me is how flat these are on the back when you pick them up. Now next time, that'll be gone pretty soon people picking through it. But in my parts down here, I'm in Southeast Missouri. We have a lot of whittlers, carvers down here, of course, but seems like nobody wants the, the, the bark. And that's good for me because I know a couple spots I go to and it's, there are piles of it. And uh, right now I'm not too picky. I'll get some, if I see a thick piece, and, that's a handful right there, my friends. And uh, if I see a thick piece, I'll pick it up and bring it home. I've got plenty of room out here. It don't hurt to get wet. It just floated uh, maybe a thousand miles. I don't know how, how many miles Ohio empties already emptied into the Mississippi by the time it gets to me. So I get stuff coming down Ohio all the way up and that drains all the way up Pennsylvania and uh, comes on down here and uh, of course the uh, old mighty Mississippi down here she's not as big when you get up way up north but uh, anyway I, I'm getting stuff uh, uh, north of St. Louis way north of St. Louis uh, down to Mississippi and and everything from the Ohio uh, the Missouri River empties in up there uh, around St. Louis so there's a lot of uh, possibilities where this stuff comes from but uh, it comes and I'll pick it up People might think I'm greedy on this. This really a uh, choice for me, cotton or bark. And uh, but uh, you see, I've got a table full of it. Let's walk over there and take a look at that. I'm going to show you what I got left on the trailer yet. I'm going to have to start putting it on the ground over there. But it won't stay too long. I'm going to start making uh, uh, videos quite often of, of my carving. And I bet it had. Uh, I've only carved, uh, power carved about 
three months. And uh, I think I'm ready to put out some videos that people would appreciate. And uh, I just, well, I'm sitting there, I got my carving booth fixed up and and we're going to, uh, to start making some videos coming out of that pile right there and see what we come up with. Let's walk over there. That piece of driftwood there, there's gonna be a face in that. Sorry about the jitterbug and around, but that's all cotton, all bark, cottonwood bark, some kind of heavy bark. Uh, not sure it's off of what kind of tree, is a cottonwood tree up there somewhere? I don't know. Cottonwood tree I have in my uh, 40 acres here. Uh, our, uh, the bark's not very heavy, but uh, along the river, there's a lot of old trees that stands and as they get old, just like we do, they start losing their bark and letting the bark starts to die. And pretty thing you know, the old tree falls down and the bark goes everywhere. So right there we are right now. I'm gonna get back to my trailer here, unload the rest of it. And that's about all we need for this video. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you want to, uh, click that button down below and subscribe because there's more to come.